lessons here at Walkerville. My name is Rick and I am in the Walkerville Library where I've been conducting ukulele courses for the community for several years, teaching lots of people of various ages how to play this fun little instrument, the ukulele. Welcome also to Adrian, who's behind the camera. Thanks for your help, Adrian. This is the fifth of six online videos presented by the town of Walkerville. You can find the first four videos in this series right here on the site where Adrian has posted the link. In this series, we use the You Can Rock ukulele songbook, which you can download free of charge by also following the links. Or you, you can contact the town of Walkerville for your free ukulele songbook. Let's check our tuning. set to go. So far in this series we've looked at how to hold and strum the ukulele using our thumb or our finger. We've looked at the names of the four strings G, C, E and A. We've looked at tuning the ukulele and we've learned three chords. The C chord or the red C the F chord or the blue F chord and the G7 chord or green G7 and those chords are shown here on our specially marked ukulele we've also looked at two types of strums the down strum and the down and up strum I learned some new songs using these three chords and how we read chord music for the ukulele. Now we are ready to put the three chords together to learn to play some new songs. Our first song is The Lion Sleeps Tonight, song number 16 in the You Can Rock songbook. To play The Lion Sleeps Tonight, we start on the C chord. We change to the F chord then go back to the C chord before changing to the G7 chord and back to the C chord. Let's look at those chord changes. Firstly, changing from C to F. We make the C chord by using our third finger on the red dot. We get our first two fingers, fingers one and two, ready to play the F chord. So we lift up our third finger and place fingers one and two where the blue dots are, the F chord, like this. We start on a C chord, pick up our third finger, place our fingers one and two on the blue dots for F. C to F. You might have noticed that I was using my thumb but you can use your finger to play if you prefer. Let's try changing from C to G7 and back to C. To change from the C chord, which I've already introduced, to the G chord. The secret of changing from C to G is to keep your third finger on the first string. And as you change from the C chord to the G7, you slide your third finger back one space or fret and place your first and second fingers into the correct positions for the G7 chord. C to G7. C, slide back, fingers down to G7. To change from G7 back to C, you do the reverse. You slide your finger up from the second fret to the third fret to make the C chord. At the same time, you lift up your first and second fingers from the, the uh, G7 chord. So from G7 to C. A quick reminder, check that you are only using your fingertips to make the chords. Try to keep your thumb at the back of the neck of the ukulele. Check that all strings are sounding or ringing clearly. Adjust your fingers if you need to. 
to make sure that they are not touching any other strings. And strum in the sweet spot of the ukulele where the neck and the body meet. Okay, we're now ready for our song, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Song number 16 in the You Can Rock songbook. This is how the song works. You will notice that we count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Over and over again. The chords have a pattern which goes like this. C. Then we'll try singing and playing one chorus. Remember, slowly for a start. We'll start off after the count of four. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. C. To F. Back to C. Like this. 
starting with C. C to F to G7, back to C, and again. C, F, G7, C. Once again, I'm just playing one down strum or stroke for each beat in the song. Once again, if you try to remember this chord pattern, it'll make it easier to follow and to sing the song. Let's try the chord pattern again as an introduction, and then we'll sing and play one verse and chorus of the song. Remember, slowly for a start. And we'll start after the count of four. One, two, three, four. Simply contact the Walkable Library for details. Our next session will be the sixth and final session in this series of ukulele lessons here at Walkerville. In our final session, we'll go over the key points from this video. We will look at a new chord, the A minor chord. We'll learn some new four chord songs using the A minor chord, together with the C, 
the F chord and the G7 chord. And I'll tell you the best place to buy your own ukulele. Now before I go, in our last session I mentioned that we'd find out where the ukulele comes from, this wonderful little instrument. I gave you a hint, the ukulele does not come from Hawaii, but its name does. Music historians generally agree that the ukulele originated in Portugal, where it had various names, the most common being the machete, and that the instrument came to Hawaii from the Portuguese colony of Madeira, a group of islands closer to Africa than to Portugal. In the late 19th century, Portuguese immigrants from the Madeira Islands moved to Hawaii to work in the cane fields and introduced their quirky little instrument to the Hawaiians, who were immediately captivated by the sound and quickly adopted the instrument into their culture. The Hawaiians called the instrument not the ukulele. They called it the ukulele. The origins of the name are still being debated today. Eventually, the ukulele made its way around the world. It's quite a fascinating story. Whatever its origin or its name, the ukulele has now become the world's most popular musical instrument. And it's easy to see why. Thanks for watching. I hope that you can join us again next time for our final You Can Rock ukulele session here at the Walkerville Library. Cheers. Thank you.